this tutorial we're going to go ahead and cover Photoshop CC 2020 in order to clip a image to an actual word so you actually get your letters to have the word, uh, the picture right behind them so it's kind of a fun effect that you can create. Uh, we're going to make sure that we have gone and downloaded our assets. First we're going to do is open the one called nebula.jpg. Let's do an image. Come down to image rotation and switch it to clockwise, 90 degrees clockwise, you could go either way. Uh, image, image size, let's see how big it is. It's 26 by 14 right now, so it's a little bit over two feet wide, which is way bigger than we're ever gonna need it. Let's go ahead and take that width down to 11 inches, our resolution up to 300, so we're prepping it for print. We're gonna leave our preserve details 2.0 on, on and resample and say okay. Let's go ahead and do a file, save as. First, save it as first initial, last name, underscore, let's call it space clipping. Dot PSD. And I've already got one, so we're going to do it again. Let's say yes. All right, and go ahead and say maximum. All right, let's go ahead and now we need to make our letters that we're gonna make our image peek through. So we need to write the word space. So let's go ahead, grab our type tool. With our type tool, with this effect, it works much easier if you have a bigger, wider image for it to peek through than a smaller one. Let's go ahead and choose impact. Regular is fine. Let's go ahead and make it 300 points. Uh, we can go ahead and left line it. Uh, the color doesn't really matter. I'm going to go ahead and use white. White is FFF, just so you know. And say OK. And I do want to make it all capitals, so I'm going to go ahead and put my caps lock on and click. I'm going to get my lorem ipsum, which is our just our dummy text, so you can see how big it is. And I'm going to write the word space. I'm going to try and write the word space. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over. Uh, it doesn't matter where you have it, you can always move this picture underneath if you want to, or if you know you want to have maybe that little star part of the nebula at the bottom of the A, sometimes it's a little bit easier to line that up first. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we've got that where we want it. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our layers panel. We actually need our picture to be over top of what we want to t uh, clip it to, so let's go ahead and unlock that background layer and reverse those layers. Let's grab that layer zero and drag it up over the space one so our letters are going to disappear and that's okay. On my photo I'm going to right click and do create clipping mask. And you see how easy it is? It automatically moved that clipped it right to the edges of that other element. So if I wanted to I could use my move tool now and I can slide that image behind it if I want to change it a little bit so you're not stuck with it after the fact. So let's go ahead and play with a few other things. Let's go ahead and click on our, go to our layers panel, go to our text layer and add a few effects. Let's go to the FX here at the bottom and let's go ahead and play with a drop shadow. Make it pop off a little bit more. So our angle, let's go ahead and make it 115. So you can, see you can change where it's at. Distance, let's go ahead and make it 50 or so. Let's make our spread 20 and our size can be about 70 or so. So you see you get kind of a nice effect. You know, if you play with your distance, your spread, you can kind of see how you have the ability to control. Maybe you want to make it super pop off. So you've got major shadow. Maybe you want to make it really tight so it's just barely there. Drop shadows are a great way to give something a little bit more depth and make it feel like it's not quite as oh as, as flat basically especially if you're trying to make it pop off the background a little bit uh, when we're okay with it let's go ahead and push okay all right let's do a file we want to make sure we save this transparent background so let's do a save as and we're going to go at call it clipping and ping png so Pings reserve, uh, maintain the transparency, so let's go ahead and do that. 
So now you can put it into something else. It's very easy, simple to do, great effect. Uh, for this tutorial, you need to do one more. Find another image, create another spl uh, clipping mask, play with the different types of features. You can do uh, play with the different types of effects. And that is all you need to do to clip a image to a word.